anything new with BG? Yes. Yeah, BG News and. Mm. Now I speak to somebody, I just communicate with them, and you know, just talk to them. Like I say, you know, that's my partner. You know, saying it was that number Justice Society. Like I ain't really trying to, you know, be on this line and this and that. I'm, like I said, I'm in the process of trying to, you know, get myself together. You know what I'm saying? To get me going on. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I'm, I'm my own man. And and one thing prison taught me to learn how to stand on your own. Anything else is just blessings. You know what I'm saying? And, and support. But at the same time, you know, one of the things like I taught in the Ardell program is like, God is like a the quarterback and you the wide receiver. So with you being a wide receiver, God, the ball is the blessing. If you a wide receiver, it's your job to get open. Mm. It ain't God's job to get you open. It's your job to go to the field room. It's your job to work on your footwork. It's your job to learn your routes that you running in life. You know what I'm saying? So when it's your time and you playing against a defense, which is the world, you got the footwork, you've been studying the team, you've been studying, the, you've been in the film room, you get open, guess what? The blessing fall right in your hand, the ball, boop, you caught it. Cause God gonna throw it to who open. God throwing the ball to who open. If you ain't open, I'm taking a chance on throwing the interception to the other team. And they can run it back and score, which is the devil. Cause I can throw you, try to throw you this blessing and you miss your blessing and it end up in the wrong person hand. And they use it to do something wrong in this world. Which is another thing why I'm trying to tell you about my page or why I'm trying to tell you about as far as doing something positive as far as the stories that I'm telling about prison. I'm using it to try to reach people and tell them what this is the lifestyle that you don't want to live. It's cool to go to work, job, and stay out the street. That ain't what's happening. Prison is not cool. There's nothing cool about being in prison. If somebody forced you into a situation, yeah. But it's your job, like I say, to get open. It's your job to outthink the press. It's your job to go read the defense that you're playing against. The, that you're playing against. Get open. And that's what my relationship is with BG. I love that man. I believe everything he say, but I got to believe in me too. And I got to do my part. I got, I, 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 Jesus made a saying. His dogs didn't help him pull the sled. I got to help that man pull the sled by by, by respecting this brand and speaking positive and you know what I'm saying and doing something with it to reach these people man so you know like I said you know that's my partner but at the same time that's my job out here to try to do for myself and when people see you trying that's when people don't mind helping because mm -hmm. they see you already in motion and towards what it is yeah. that you're doing. Can we to clarify too help you help you understand better too when BG freed up and you got more time space and move around you guys plan on connecting it? Of course okay. that's 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 what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Can't wait to meet his mom. Can't wait to meet Miss Scent. And, you know, I can't wait to just be able to see the results that I'm getting more than anything. Because outside of any relationship, as a man, you're supposed to have a purpose that's bigger than any relationship that you're in on this earth. And you try to figure out what your purpose is, and you got to stand on that. Sometimes it's like a man going to war. His wife don't want to see him go to war. But she respect him as a man because he has a higher purpose other than her. This is something I read in one of the books T.I. sent me. I think it was on the, the Way of Superior Man. This is one of the books that T.I. has sent BG and I got that information out of that. And you, you got a word from Mango, right? Yeah, he saluted me. Uh, I had a friend of mine that had... You said, um, you said he to tell me you speak of uh, Mano. Yeah. He had, you know, saluted me on the uh, FaceTime one of his partners. Okay. Told him I was doing a good job and like I tell a lot of people that I bump into if when I do bump into them, I tell them about what I was going through hearing their music at the time in prison, what I was going through at the time that their music came out. So I tell them like, you got me through certain situations, you know what I'm saying, you helped me You helped me be it. Mm -hmm. You took my mind outside of, you know, being confined. Did you get a chance to tell me that? I told him that, yeah. I told him that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, same thing I tell, you know, Jada, I told a lot of artists. So what, what was his word to you? Like, like, like he keep... saluted me, yeah, keep it going. like. Be proud of me, you know what I'm saying? And congratulations, you know I'm solid. Just did a dub. And you mentioned, uh, you mentioned Kiss. Yeah. Kiss. Uh, uh, what was his birthday? Just keep it solid. He just spoke. You know, I met him. It was natural on my birthday. He didn't know I was BG Seller, not like that. Like I said, I don't, I don't be out promoting that. I just seen him, walked up to him, and it was like, bro, you inspired me. You got me through a lot of situations, and that's how that relationship developed like that. So there wasn't nothing like 
oh, I'm Big G. So I don't walk around doing that on me. So, and you know, like I said, you know, I appreciate them telling me I'm doing a good job. You know, just want to let certain people know that I was listening. And when I, if I do bump into them and I do see them, I let them know if they, if they got me through hard times. You know what I'm saying? While I was in prison, if I see them, somebody on TV, somebody, you know, like Pinky. I don't know what's real in that car. Pound, I bumped into him and I told him. Pinky Power. Yeah, I told him, you know, he, he made me laugh in a lot of situations when I was in the cell. And, so you recently bumped into him? Yeah. Okay. He, was in, he was here in Atlanta. I bumped into him like twice. And uh, when I bumped into him, I told him that. And he, man took his glasses off. He was like, man, he appreciate that. Because I'm starting to realize that these are real people. And you never know what phase of their life that they in, and they might need to hear this. Yeah. <clears throat> From somebody that was in my situation, you helped me. Because so, that's what I want to hear. Once I know I'm reaching somebody or helping a kid, and they come tell me, man, you got me through this, that's a whole nother motivation for the person who's doing what they're doing and it gives them a reason to do it when you never know that person might have wanted to give up that person might have thought about quitting and here it is i come along and tell you the hardship that you got me through that could encourage somebody else not that i would say it's not just my message is not just for kids sometimes my message may reach adults they reach entertainers because in these situations man sometimes they need to hear that you know what they're doing is working what you're doing is working, man. Everything ain't bad. This little gesture right here means a lot to me. Y'all subscribing to me and subscribing to my page and hearing what I got, that means a lot to me. That means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because I got people in the prison that's looking out to me. I got people in the inside that's looking at me that when I do what I do, when I do, I got to send them money and take care of them because I do got partners back there that's never getting out. And they looking at me, and I'm their voice. Do you feel the responsibility? I feel responsibility. responsible for that because I was, I was, like I said, I wasn't just know anything in there. So, and I told them this is what I was gonna do when I got out. So now they see me standing on, they see it, it can really happen. Mm -hmm. I'm giving them hope, mm -hmm. man. It, mm -hmm. they, these real dudes, they gonna tell you they like, man, dude, solid, man, like to see him do it, and they proud of me. It's a lot of people that's in that prison system, not only with this 019 number. You gotta do 056, 066, 007, 001, 034, all these different numbers, 066. They, 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 they respect me, bro. It's a lot of dudes that respect me. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I respect them. It's a lot of me re reaching out to you lately. Right. Telling me, you know what I'm saying, do a good job. They know what I'm saying, it's facts. 